Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. So, um, I was out and about, and um, I was driving around uh, BGC, and um, I happened to uh, swing by uh, BGC KTM Husqvarna dealership today, and um, I um, took the opportunity to uh, pick up some accessories for my motorcycle. So um, when I got there today, I was able to pick up the um, radiator guard. I was able to get the, um, it's called a tail tidy, tail tidy. So this is what's going to replace the um, fender in the rear tire area so um, I'm gonna be able to put this thing under the seat and then put the plate right here the license plate right here and uh, it's gonna look much cleaner and in order for you to make that whole setup good looking you're also gonna need to replace the uh, chain guard the existing chain guard right now over there is made out of plastic and it's longer okay so this one is uh, shorter it's made from steel and um, it's obviously going to be a uh, tougher, okay? And um, also, hey guys, so I'm going to start with the uh, easiest installation of the three, which is the um, installation of the radiator protector, okay? And um, first, um, I got to give you a reason on why I'm doing this. Um, because that's that's important because if I'm just gonna keep on installing stuff in here uh, for no reason at all then um, it's just gonna be an additional um, weight on the motorcycle um, it's just gonna be additional cost on top of the uh, price of this and uh, and so on and so forth so as you can see here the the radiator is catching lots of bugs, dirt, um, mud, all kinds of stuff, okay? So, um, I'm gonna run this uh, plastic brush on this. Uh, the radiator is not hot, so I'm able to run a, um, a, a plastic brush on this thing. Um, I wouldn't do this thing when you just came off, the, uh, came off of driving it and then stick this uh, plastic uh, brush so um, since I'm gonna put a protector on I might as well scrub I mean brush off these um, I don't know like mud bugs things of that nature and just kind of rub it you know completely cleaning it or anything like that but it's just trying to run this thing on this okay because after I put this thing on I probably won't be able, won't be seeing this part anymore for a long time okay so after that's done, um, so actually, this is one of the reasons why I want to put on the um, radiate, radiator protector. Also, okay, these um, little holes here are not really strong, okay? If a rock hits this, it's going, it's going to dent for sure. Um, and... Uh, the flow of the air won't be as effective because it will be uh, one less of a hole for the air to uh, get into okay so um, so that's why we put on the uh, radiator protector okay um, you know aesthetic wise obviously it's gonna look cooler you know um, with it okay so uh, so that's that's done okay the first thing that's going to be happening here is that I'm going to be removing this um, nut right here and this nut right here, okay? And I will be using a 10 millimeter, okay? 10 millimeter. And um, there's also a couple underneath here that's facing this way. And... Um, that's going to be another 10 millimeter okay so once you get those uh four screws i mean uh 
off, uh, it's done, and then you just put it back with uh, with a with a cover. Okay, so, um, and I'm gonna start right now by undoing this uh, top first. It's really, really easy, guys. Just make sure you get all these things um, back in the same series or placement. It's actually... I hope this thing doesn't fall on me. Last screw. Doesn't seem to be a... Falling. Gasket. Just the gasket. All right, I gotta hurry up because this is not falling. Here's the item. <laughs> Remove all the hex bolts on radiator assembly with a Number 10 wrench. Push the horizontal grill and line the lower brackets. Mounting hole B annex. Reattach all four bolts. All right. Okay, that's how it's gonna look like. Why am I having a hard time? Because I'm not a lefty. 
see. There we go. I'm not going to fully tighten it yet. I'm going to go around. Do I have too much now? Um, let's remove one. Maybe I'm got so much now that I couldn't put it in. Okay, so I have to remove one of the uh, washer. Okay, I can do it from here too. Obviously, I gotta leave the bigger washer. So, just like that, guys, we are essentially done, okay? And, um, obviously, I just gotta tighten it up and, um, this task is done. It wasn't really, really tight when I took this thing off a while ago. So I kind of want to leave just that right amount also. Not too tight, buddy. All right. Okay. Done. We are done. It's 
pretty tight. Okay, so um, we are done with that. We're gonna go around so you can see it. Okay, that angle. Okay. And then here, you see right there, it's nice. There's about just, as you can see right there, look at that gap. It's about half an inch gap or probably less than a, less than, less than, less than half an inch gap right there. It's barely, um, yeah, you can see it right there um, from the uh, radiator side to the um, guard and um, actually looks pretty good guys you know and that's all it took not even about not not even not even I don't know five minutes the setup took longer you know my uh, radio check and video check took longer. Okay, so uh, that's a wrap. And uh, the pictures will be uh, next for more detailed uh, information for you. Okay, all right, guys, thanks. Thank <laughs> you.